Hey guys, Bono Style here, and today we're going to be doing a uh, a mod review. Um, it's going to be a uh, three uh, mods today we're going to be reviewing. First is a armor mod, as you can see, Roll and I are wearing a uh, nice uh, Vietnam Marine um, outfit here. It's like a reskin of um, one of the uh, pre-war stuff, and it's just combined with some of the, some other stuff here. It looks pretty nice. And we're doing a gun mod. This is the um, flintlock rifle um, it only holds one bullet and it takes a while to reload but um I actually have agility 10 so it makes my uh, gun reload really fast but um if I were to take it off it would take about like five seconds to reload each shot and I don't want that so you're gonna have to at least mod a little bit to um to uh, get this reload really fast and maybe get the perk to reload faster but here I'll show you the stats real quick and it doesn't look half bad actually. It's not well, it's kind. Of, it packs with a huge wallop, um, 50 DPS and um, 146 damage with a weight of five and a strength requirement of four. And it takes um, bullet and powder ammo. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this bullet and powder ammo. What you do is you go to a workbench and then all you have to do is just get a bunch of 12 gauge rounds and 10 12 gauge rounds makes 10 ball and powder rounds. Oops, why did I do that? Yes, here. And you can find the gun right at the Good Springs, um, uh, Good Springs bar. Um, it's right behind the counter. You can find both the schematic and the rifle right next to the bartender. I forgot her name because she's not very significant in this campaign. Now, this is the flintlock rifle mod. I will put that description down below. Now, the next mod we'll be reviewing is the armor mod, um, Raul and I have on. Now all you have to do is run all the way to this Poseidon gas station here. And you just walk right over here. And you see this little chain link fence and you go into a little place that says storage area. And then it gives you a bunch of stuff. It's called the um, TG's Armory mod. It gives you a bunch of really, really, really cool stuff. Now, I'll only be showing you a couple things. Um, let's just take a um, couple things. Not all of them, just some of them. And as you can see, I've already taken out some of the stuff. And yeah, it actually comes with some masks too. Hats and masks and gloves. So be aware of that. And I won't be showing all of it. Just some of the things. The other stuff it will be in the uh in the um the file with the uh Oh man, I'm 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 blanking out here. You can find it in New Vegas Nexus, you can find all the little tidbits of information here and I am already wearing the Vietnam Marine outfit it gives you plus five gun skill and I want to be reviewing a couple of these little thingies okay, let's remove the Black Ops Break Recon Beret this is called the professional it looks really nice it's like a it kind of reminds me of that Call of Duty um, one mission uh, no Russian that, that, it, I actually like it a lot. It looks really nice. And most of these armor mods have the kind of uh, modern, uh, you know, uh, modern bulletproof vest kind of style. Next, I'll be looking at the big game hunter. Uh, it's like a um, Fallout 3 jacket with the Wasteland uh, Wanderer stuff. And it has a little holster for your magnum. And some shotgun shells on the side. And it also has a little... Um, uh, scarf right there. It looks really nice. If you put it with a cowboy hat, um, it looks really good. You know, I'll just kind of look at it right here. And the next is the Casino Security. This doesn't look as good as other ones, I think, because it doesn't have too much detail. But you can obviously make it work with another piece of equipment or another piece of something. And you can easily put a hat on it to make it look even better. So you look just like a big roller now. And there's also a pistol on the left side right under your armpit because that's the best place to put a gun chemical response suit and I'll put the mask with it too this looks really nice it looks like um SAS or something I don't know um but it looks like uh looks like you're dealing with some heavy chemical stuff it looks pretty nice looks really good and as you can see I'm not really looking at all these things because I don't want to waste all of your time looking at some of these things powder gang guard armor just some stuff put together with that. Boom. And then the Vault of Combat uniform. 
looks really cool. And then as you can see, there's a little PDA right there. So just in case you don't use a Pip-Boy, you can look at that PDA and it'll match your outfit. Now let's go back to my Vietnam Marine with my Black Ops Break Recon. And I will put my stuff back in here. But um, there's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, I forgot to look at the Recon Sniper. I will show that. Now let's get rid of all that stuff. Now this one's actually pretty cool. And I didn't want to do that. This one's actually really cool. Um, it's kind of the uh, the Boone's um, rec uh, first recon outfit, but it's um it's totally decked out. It's got um, a lot of cool t uh, tactical stuff on there. There's a little uh, machete right there too, which is really really cool. Um, then you should put that back. And there's some helmets. There's just in case um, you lose everything, and then you can just pick it back up. There's some gloves. There's female armor clothes, and then there's male clothes. And then there's the Legion stuff. I will show you the Legion stuff. Now, this is a Ballistic Scudum. It is a shield. It looks really, really nice. I have no clothes. Um, put that back on. It looks really nice, because if you have a melee weapon, I will show you the melee weapon that they include in that chest. It's called the Mechworks Goliath Machete. It's full black. It looks really good with the shield. And if you if you if you're a supporter of the Legion, you might want this because it looks really really good. Here's the stats for it. It's 38 uh, damage, bonus limb damage, two weight, 995 value, and 126 DPS. It's very fast. And your strength requirement is four. Now, let's go back up here. It looks it looks really good. Yeah, I mean, it might be kind of simple because it's black, but it, the um. It just it just looks really nice because if you're a good Legion supporter and you like to run around with only melee weapons, then this is a pretty good thing for you. And this is the IBH, just the headgear, and it looks really nice. It looks like you're um, sort of looks like you're just I don't know one of Caesar's lead bodyguards. And if you you can play around with this, you can add other stuff, and you can also add another um, headgear with that too. You can just play around with it, you know, look at it. And, um, you know, just look around that. Now, we are going to... Now, the last mod we were going to review is a quest mod. It is the awesome prim mod. Now, load, 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 fresh delight, sunset, sarsaparilla. Now, it is the Bison Steve mod. It is the Lucky Casino mod. It is very, very nice, and, um, gives you actually a little waypoint right in front of it, the Bison Steve Hotel. Now, to start this mod, you're gonna wanna go right here, and into the Viking Van Casino. Because this is where you first receive the quest. As you see, it's the car right there. What you wanna do is you wanna talk to this individual called Steve. Well, I'll be damned. I heard through the grapevine you were still a-kickin'. Hoped you might show up here. Come again? I don't know. You want you want me? Well, word is is you damn near come back from the dead. Damn miracle if you ask me. Yeah, well, I still have really bad headaches from that. I'll bet you do. Way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck oh up my. your ass, or an angel on your shoulder. Uh, yeah, but for the first for option. Either way. Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Name of Steve. As in bison, Steve? Yep. That old place.